Hi hey everybody. I want to start reading the potato chip puzzles. I just want to let you know that this book is unlike any other book I've bet you read. That as you're reading, the author has put some puzzles for us to solve. Some, they, you never know what they're going to look like. Like here's one puzzle. We have to be reading the story to understand it. Sometimes there's a crossword puzzle. Ooh, look at this interesting one. Why are there puzzles in this book, you ask? It, well, it's because the main character, whose name is Winston Breen, loves to solve puzzles and riddles. He always has something with him to solve. And this book, in this book, they're actually on an expedition to solve puzzles as a team. Uh, so I'll probably post it by page numbers. I'll give you a link if we're at distance learning. And of course, I'll just play it if we're in the room. All right, so this book's called The Potato Chip Puzzles. It's by Eric Berlin. And it's the second book in a series. The first book was called The Puzzling World of Winston Breen. It's also a really good book, but there's kind of a scary part in it at the end where um, there's a bad guy that's has the family hostage. It doesn't seem very appropriate to read at school, but it might be one that you want to read at home with your family. Otherwise, there's the third book in the series called The Puzzler's Mansion. The Puzzler's, the pro, apostrophe S, Mansion. Winston Breen and an adult friend of his get to go to an, another friend's mansion just for solving puzzles. So he's solving puzzles along with a bunch of adults. He's so good. He's better than most adults at solving puzzles. So let's give it a try. And I'll stop whenever we get to a puzzle. Chapter one. Winston Breen didn't know why it was called study hall. They weren't in a hall and hardly anyone studied. Sometimes you'd find kids finishing homework due the next period. You could tell that's what they were doing. They had wide-eyed, racing-the-clock air to them, and they gripped their pens so hard that blood stopped flowing to their fingertips. But this was the last week of school, and there was no more homework. Kids sat in little clusters talking semi-quietly, occasionally bursting into laughter, which would attract a glare from Mrs. Lavetta, the study hall monitor. A couple of kids were reading, and one girl with hypnotic concentration was covering her desktop with elaborate graffiti. Uh -oh. Winston, of course, was solving a puzzle. He kept a couple of puzzle books in a school bag at all times. He had been, oop, there had been a day earlier in the year where he found himself puzzleless in study hall. Mrs. Lavetta refused to let him go to his locker to get a puzzle book. With nothing to read and nothing to solve, he sat there for a while in utter boredom. In fact, that was the day he discovered that the letters of boredom can be scrambled to make the word bedroom. When you can make a word out of the, or two words out of the same group of letters, those are called anagrams of each other. And that's another kind of puzzle he likes. This was a pleasing discovery at least. Now he was prepared. He clicked a few times on his mechanical pencil and doodled in the margin while he thought. And we've gotten to a puzzle. So if you have your Puzzler's Mansion packet, you can go to the first set of puzzles and you'll see squares like this. When you're ready, I'm going to read the directions. You could pause me if you need to. In a word square, Words read the same both across and down. In the following two puzzles, solve the clues to create the word square. So the first clue says, number one, badly behaved child. So a child that's usually naughty or whining and complaining, it's a four letter word. Once you know that four letter word, you would write it going across this way and then you would use that top letter and write it down this way. Well, let's say you can't think of what that might be, but clue two says a competition for runners. It's clue two, 
So I'm going to start it here, the first box, and I'm going to write the answer going down here. And I'll write it, the two going across, right there. So if you can figure out at least one word, you're going to write it across and down at the right number, and it will give you clues to the following words, okay? So not only do you have these clues, but you have clues from the answers that you know. So puzzle one and two are right there. And then in the bottom, there's actually a five or five letters in each of the answers. These had, whoops, these had four letters to make a square. These have five letters. The other thing is you don't know where the answer goes. Did you notice that there aren't, they are not numbered? And there are no numbers here. But once you figure out the words, I would write the answers here and see if you can solve it. All right? So go ahead. You can pause or stop this video. And I'll start again with a second video in just a few minutes.